Hi folks, it's the cars, Chip and Kim and Tonka. Welcome back to our channel. We have another special cooking treat for you today. We are grilling up some steelhead trout on the Primo charcoal grill. Uh, the, uh, the trout is going to have a chili lime seasoning with a grilled corn salsa. And with that, we're going to have a chipotle coleslaw. And that's going to be great for a, for a, a more than a warm day here. So first thing we have to do is say hi to Kim. Hi, Kim. Hello. And there's Tonka. He's having one of those dog day afternoons. It is hot here in Pennsylvania as it is everywhere in the nation right now. The first step we have to do is uh, get our get our corn grilled for the salsa that we're going to make. And we're going to show you how we we're going to show you how we um, set the grill up for that. So we have the firebox divider in with both uh, standard grill grates on, and we're just going to uh, put our corn on. Kim wants to bring the corn over here, and um, we'll get the corn on. And we're just going to we're going to grill that corn, get some char on it. That's the first step. We have to make a salsa for the trout. So, see you in a bit. So we have a couple ears of corn on the on the grill. And we just want to char them all around and this is going to make your your corn salsa. So once these are done, I'm going to pull these off in here in a few minutes and we're going to get our salsa made. And then I'm going to show you the absolute best way to grill fish on any any type of grill that you have. Uh, we're going to use a tool called a fish basket. And without a fish basket, you run the risk of, uh, unless, unless you put your fish in foil, but that's no fun. Um, so we're going to show you how, uh, what a fish basket can do, uh, for your, for your grilled fish cook. Uh, you're not going to lose any fish. You're going to be able to turn it as many times as you want to without fear of, um, losing your fish in the fire. It's just a really great tool and, and really the only way to do fish on the grill. So. We'll see you when we get our corn salsa made and we're ready to put the fish on. So folks, here's our steelhead trout in the fish basket and ready to put on. And like I said, if you do not, if you like to grill fish and you do not have one of these fish baskets, you need to get one. So you just put her over the coals like that. So our steelhead trout's been on for a few minutes. I've uh, already turned it once. We started with the skin side down. We've been cooking with the flesh side down here for a few minutes. And oh, look at that. Doesn't that look nice? That's some good looking trout. And we just, uh, we grilled some corn for a, for a corn salsa over top of it this uh, this trout filet already has a chili lime seasoning on it so um, this is going to be a real flavorful fish and and as you can see um, I can turn this as many times as I want to with this fish basket don't have to use any foil don't have to worry about any fish sticking to the to the grates you don't have to worry about oiling the grates it's just the perfect tool for grilling fish I would not grill fish any other way so if you like fish and you like to grill it how about a Kim fish basket right. the way to go it's the way to go it's the way to go pick one up anywhere oh what a what a beautiful Sunday here 
a little hot, but uh, staying in the shade, stay hydrated. Tonka, he's he's over here laying under the fan. Oh boy, <laughs> it's pretty cool over here on the tile under that fan. Mm -hmm. Got the ceiling fan on for him, it's trying to keep him cool. Hi, buddy. <laughs> hey, Tonka, it's all going to be time to eat soon. I know. It's hot. Love to eat fish in the summertime. We're still eating. If you, if you happen to have seen our, our blueberry pancake, video we are still enjoying those blueberries in fact my wife made a dessert another dessert yesterday what what was that blueberry dessert that you made lemon blueberry cheesecake lemon blueberry cheesecake with a blueberry sauce the same type of blueberry sauce that we had for the pancake so we're gonna have to show you this lemon blueberry cheesecake, I mean, it is so flavorful. It is unbelievable. And we are willing to share these recipes. Um, if, if you um, want to comment, and ask us for a certain recipe, we're more than happy to share. So we're getting, we're getting a nice char. Got some fish oil flame up there. We're going to knock this down a little bit. Starting to flare up a little bit. This trout has um, a lot of natural oils in it. And it'll be done uh, very shortly. So folks, our fish is ready to come off. That's some beautiful char on that trout. I'm going to show you how this works with this fish basket. Just like that, easy as that, comes right out, shut your grill down. So we have our grilled corn salsa, our fish has already been seasoned with chili lime. What do you need Kim? That's about right. So there's our, our grilled corn salsa that we made uh, with the corn that we grilled. That's plenty. Now this is a chipotle coleslaw. Now Kim, what makes this a chipotle coleslaw? It has adobo peppers. Adobo peppers. It's a pepper sauce with um, sugar, a little bit of sugar, uh, salt, pepper, white wine vinegar, and a little bit of mayo. And tell us about this grilled corn salsa. It has on top of this lime juice, 
Lime juice. Tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Obviously grilled corn, jalapeno grilled peppers. Grilled corn, jalapeno peppers. Mm -hmm. Onion. And that's That's enough. It. That's mm -hmm. enough. It looks awesome. It's very flavorful. Okay, we're going to dig into this fish and um, we'll get back to you here when it's time for dessert. That was beyond awesome, that, that steelhead trout, the chili lime, and there's our boy Tonka. Tonka, I, I saved the skin. Tonka loves the skin. Sit down the hatch, and very good for him, too. A lot of great uh, vitamins and minerals in that trout skin for him, and he just, well, you can see he just gobbles that right up. But, that uh, that corn salsa with the chard from the grilled corn, fantastic. The um, chipotle uh, coleslaw, fantastic. That's right. It is all gone. He wants more. It's all gone, bud. It's all no. gone. No. So that's it for now. We're going to get back to you and show you this dessert here in a, in a few once we uh, clear the table from the, from the fish dinner and... Uh, that's right. Here we have an awesome summer dessert, folks. It's a lemon blueberry cheesecake uh, with a blueberry puree drizzled over the top. And uh, I can't lie, I've already had a piece of this before. And I got to tell you, this is fantastic. Mmm. Oh my God, is that good? Just the right amount of lemon with the blueberry the right amount of tart and sweet together just fantastic so thanks for tuning in to our our grilled fish uh, dinner and our uh, cheesecake dessert again if you see anything you like in these videos and you want a more detailed recipe um, just give us a shout in the comments and and uh, that won't be a problem um, if you like this content, like and subscribe, please, if you would. And uh, we will see you next time. Thank you very much.